वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज राकेश गुप्ता आई एम को होस्ट ऑफ ऑटोमेशन आवर ब्लॉगर एट ऑटोमेशन चैम्पियन डॉट कॉम आई पोस्ट कंटेंट अराउंड पार्ड ऑथ एपेक्स लाइटनिंग वेब कम्पोनेंट सी आर मैनेटिक्स सेस पोस रिलीजेस एंड सेस पोस प्लोस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न दिस टॉपिक्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एज वेल एज न्यूज लेटर इन टू डेज वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ यू कैन मॉनिटर सेस पोस instance production or sandbox downtime using salesforce trust apis so if you have a requirement to monitor salesforce production or sandboxes there are various ways the first is open status.salesforce.com which is salesforce trust site and you can monitor one instance or multiple instances like this so salesforce will provide you the correct status historical information and maintenance information you can also subscribe such informations from here uh, by entering your email address and then follow the instruction which you receive in email another option is use third party applications like thousand eyes or dynatrace the application goes one step beyond and help you to create a ticket when salesforce is down another option is to consume salesforce trust api and do a call out from salesforce on any systems and get the response and take the actions based on the response received and that's what we are going to do in today's tutorial so salesforce trust api is an open api you can explore this api there are various translation and methods salesforce provide to get different informations in, in today's video we will use a uh, instance key status api so on an example if i want to try it out i can inst enter instance instances like ns107 and you can enter further information like you want to get information about a specific product or child product or in a specific language but those are optional so as soon as i say execute uh you will see this information like the status is okay so there are seven status salesforce will return as mentioned here okay means everything is okay if there are any maintenance or downtime so you will receive uh, this status and then this is all json so you can read this json and explore what parameter you want to use like for example you want to automatically create a record in salesforce for maintenance so you have to go through this json and understand which where those informations are structured in json and how you can use this another thing you have to learn and explore before starting salesforce flows is schedulomatic so now you know that salesforce flow runs uh, only three times once daily or weekly it does not have any ability to run multiple times in a day like for example i want to run it every 5 minute or uh, once in an hour that's where schedulomatic 9000 applications comes handy you can able to schedule any flows in any frequency so you have to install this app in the application you can do so by using apex code but if you are a non coder and prefer an app by salesforce and you can use this so install this applications and when you go to the this ui uh, you can able to select a flows like for example i want to use this flows and you can select when you want to start and how often you want to run for example every hour you can just put the 60 and that's all you can say schedule and once you are done what this application does is basically insert a job into schedule job and then it will run once in an hour like for example this policy is for the status integration and the whole informations you can able to find in blog post 180 now before go ahead let's uh, spend some time in business use case so benjamin is a architect and wants to monitor his products and instances and a 107 if json response return one of these status then he wants to create he want to send out an email alert to all system administrator otherwise uh, it is okay and we don't want to take any further action and he want to run this applications every 30 minute or 60 minute so before we go ahead uh, let's uh, try to understand process flow diagram so this is the process flow diagram we will create an auto launch flow which do a call out http call out to salesforce trust api upon receiving the response we will check whether where is it was success or failed if it was success then we will check the json status this is status if it's okay we don't want to take any access if this belongs to one of the six status then we want to create not create basically we want to send out an email alert to all system administrator so that's all let's start from salesforce so the first thing we have to do this one is create a name credential so let's go ahead and create a name credential uh, for to creating a name credentials we need the url of the api which is api.status.com 
you can grab this from here, the first part of this request URL. Once you're done, next step is to create a HTTPS callout action. So let's go to the flow. I have already created the flow, so I will open it. So this is an auto launch flow. If you see here, this is an auto launch flow. To create an action, I'm, I already created an action, but let me create the action one more time. So go to the action, click on the create HTTP callout, give the name, and select the name credential, which is Salesforce status. Now give this name here. This is basically name for your external callout. And this is a get method. Now for URL path, uh, you have to enter the URL path, which is remaining path here. I will copy it from my notepad. If you notice here, I put it this in the curly brasses because instance key is a variable. So it can change from NA107 to CS133. So this is a variable and that's why I put it, this in the curly brasses. And this is going to be a string. There are various other parameters. If you look at here, the product key, child, uh, product and local. So let me copy from here. So add here. So this is a string. Then go back here, child product, nothing but the Boolean. And these are not required. That's why I'm not selecting required. And locale. Here's the string. Once you are done, uh, click uh, the provide the sample response. So you can grab the sample response from here. The sample response you receive, but I already have the response. So click on the review. And once everything looks good, click on done. And you will see the checkbox. And once you save it, Salesforce will create external services. So now imagine if you want to make a change once you create an external services. So go to the external services and open this external services. And you can from here, you can edit it. And this bring the same information we just enter. All right. Let me cancel this. Ah, from here, uh, you can pass the instance, which is NA107, and child product, which is basically I passed false, done. Now, next, we have to check whether the response, uh, if its response was, what was the response code, if the callout was success or not. So this is basically response code, and it will return 200. Again, uh, look at here, and this will, you will see somewhere here, the response code is 200. Yep, sorry, here, all right. And then, <coughs> This is the status, and this status is nothing but this status. So you can navigate to uh, this 2x, and you can type a status here, which is nothing but here, equals to OK. It means it is available, and we don't want to take any actions. But in case of major and minor incident, which is remaining six status, so first I'm checking it is still success, and they are one of these six status. And I put one and uh, two, three, four, five, six, and seven in all conditions. If this is this, then we want to take action and send out an emails to all system administrators. So first of all, what we need is we have to find out the profile ID for system administrator. So what I'm saying here is get element and saying okay, give select the object profile. So here, object profile and say name equals to system administrator and give me the profile of system administrator and only the first one because there's only one system administrator profile. Next, I want to get all users with the same profile and active users. So this is the get element, object is user, is active equals to true and profile ID is nothing but get profile dot ID. And this time there might be possible there are multiple system administrator exist in Salesforce as an active user. So select all record. Then we want to make sure that if it returns something or not. So get admin users is null false, which is basically the return of previous get element. Then we want to loop through it because to send out an email, we need all email address in a collection. So that's why we use the loop element to looping through and loop will give you one record at a time and you can perform any action on one record. So the next step is to create a variable which is collections called as text. So this is basically a collections variable of type text to store multiple records. You can imagine this as a uh, column in Excel sheet. Now, uh, in the left hand side where I want to assign the value which is basically the variable that we just created, add and 
we are saying, okay, go to the loop and give me the email, which is nothing but the one user's email address. So this process will run and return all this, all the email address of all users that we found here. So at the end, this variable will contains all email address. To send out an email, we are using a static accents, which is out of the box uh, accent to send out an email alert. This is the body, uh, which is basically nothing but a text template. So let me open the text template here. Not this one. So this is the text template. So text template, basically I'm using the key and environment and status. So basically when we receive the email, uh, we will know that it received for a specific environment. Like for example, this, this is the sample email. So instance any seven, this is production or sandbox and what is the status? So that is basically template. Feel free to modify as, as you want. And recipient is nothing but where the email address, which is basically collection of email and this rich text because we are using a text template, which is rich text body then you have to enable this and set it true. Otherwise, Salesforce will expose HTML in what's any user receive an email alert. And subject, I am using the same as body, but feel free to change it. For this demo purposes, what I have done is for everything is okay, which is basically the first node where we are saying is we have the callout was success and its status is okay. I'm just creating a task just to make sure that callout is working and I can see it is working. So I just create a task and assign it to myself. And that's all. So go ahead and activate it. This flow is already activated. So next piece is schedule this flow to run every hour or every 30 minutes. So I'm running it every hour. So for this, go to the schedule mapping app, click on schedule matic and from here, select flow tab and select your flow. And you can select at what time you want to start and how often. And if you want to run this forever, then don't enter anything. Select this and click on the confirm. Once you are done, go to the setup tab and click on schedule job. And you will see it here running. As you see, this was run uh, at last time at 11.30 PM. Uh, let me go to the task and validate if it was still running. And you see when it last time it ran, everything was okay and it created a task. So this is, this will give an idea how you can use Salesforce Trust APIs. You can take it to next step to read if there are any maintenance and you can have an object in Salesforce where you can store all these informations and automatically create a ticket in Jira or ServiceNow or any other incident management tool that you are using. Thanks for watching this video and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me.